from the studios of the evangelist ministry we spread the good news about Jesus Christ and his saving grace our mission is to lead people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ from the studios of the evangelist ministry good morning my fellow friends and my fellow believers if this morning we carry our Bible let's open the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 51 to the 58 the Bible said this way behold I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkle of an eye, at the last trump, for the trump shall sound, and the day shall be rise uncorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put in, on immorality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, then shall be swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brother, be you steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. My dear friends, the subject of this morning is courage to live and to die with faith. My dear friends, death is the universal phenomenon that indicates completion of life. But for us, the Christians, death is not the end, but it's just the beginning of a new life in heaven and presence with the Lord. No one before it can escape. And it's a reality that is marked in all living beings. Dead. But the Bible said, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. Are you prepared for the judgment? That is my question. Are you prepared for the judgment? But since when this reality is inevitable, are you ready for the judgment? My dear friends, the Bible tell, tell us that since the origins of humanity, this was not marked by death. On the contrary, immortality was the design of this life. Adam and Eve were not created to die. I wasn't created to die, but to immortality. My dear friend, Adam and Eve had the opportunity to decide for immortality before death. Only dependent on attitude, obedience to God, and the Lord God took them or took them, or took the man, and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. 
And the Lord God command, commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you might freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat of it. For in the day that thou you eat thereof you shall surely die. My dear friends, God told him not to do it. God warning Adam and Eve to not eat of that tree. However, this attitude depended on being ex external to them. But Satan, Satan, Satan who lead them to decision to disobey God, his creator. My dear friends, the, for, the forbidden fruit was the boundary between death and immortality. Wow. Both Adam and Eve decided to eat the forbidden fruit. They wanted to taste this fruit. Thereby generating the disobedience to God and his fatal consequences to death. The Bible said, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be decided to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with heart and he did eat. Genesis chapter 3, verse 6. They went from life to eternal death. That's why, in today's days, that's why you and I, we must die. Because the Bible said, the wages of sin is dead. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. So, Therefore, my beloved brother, be firm and constant, abounding in the work of the Lord, always knowing that your work in the Lord is not in vain. Said, verse 58. The first words in this verse is a union by connecting, connected with the entire chapter. But value in life and faith in the dead is the conclusion of the message. Paul said this way. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Philippians chapter 1 verse 21. And then my dear friends, it's our duty. It's our duty. It's our duty in Christ who is the Lord of life and of victory over death. Be constant, persistent, durable in our faith and belief. Why? Because we cannot be a person of double-minded. The Bible said a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. James chapter 1 verse 8. Be firm, be stable and strong that it does not move nor hesitate on your faith and belief. My dear friends, abounding in the work of the Lord always. Purge increase both in faith and belief. The Bible says that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Colossians chapter 1 verse 10. Also, the Bible tells us who are bound to thank God always for you, brothers, as is it meant, because that your faith grow exceedingly. And the charity of every one of you all toward each other abounds. 
Second Corinthians, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 13. It is our duty in Christ, faith did victoriously. Because we know in Psalm 23 explains a lot of things that you might should have time to read Psalm 23. But uh, my dear friends in the book of, of Romans said, I am persuaded. I am persuaded. Uh, Paul is saying, I am persuaded that neither death or life nor angel, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor high, nor death, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, all Lord. Romans chapter 8, verse 38 and 39. My dear friends, we can get to a conclusion this morning. It should not be forget that a victorious life is through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ according to the verse 57. My dear friends, I stretch myself saying this morning, if we are faithful Christians, as it was our brothers or sisters who has died in Christ, we can live to our same inheritance of hope that he has ready to help us. Brothers, peace, joy, and the hope of God remain in your hearts. My dear friends, it's all duty in Christ Jesus to face death in victory. Because we know exactly what happened when a person leave this world. He's going to be present with the Lord. We're just passing through in this world. This earth is not my, it's not what I'm looking for. My citizenship is in the kingdom of heaven. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you.